Hi guys, and now we're back with social studies. Um, uh, last week we talked about helping my community and we saw the different ways you can help out your community at home and at school. So today we're going to be looking at people and the community. So turn your big book to page 270, page 270. And you write the date. Today is Tuesday, April 21, 2020. All right, page 270, and um, let's read the note together. People and their community. Every day, people affect their community by the choices and decisions they make. These actions have great effect on both the community and the environment. So this is simply telling us the different ways people affect their community in both positive ways and negative ways. When you dirty your community, when you litter, when you drop litters all over the floor, when you don't take care of your community, you are affecting the community in a very negative way, in a very bad way, that's gonna affect not just you yourself, but other people. Because when the community is very dirty, you, you tend to get sick because the air is polluted and then it's, you get sick. Okay, so we have to learn how to take care of our community and make sure that we affect, we put a positive impact on the community. Understood? Okay, so now let's look for it. Let's take a look inside the book and see in what way the young boy is uh, affecting the community and see if it's a good effect or a bad effect. Now let's read A. It says, see what Caleb is doing circle the correct words and answer the questions i am full that's caleb saying i am full i can't finish my sandwich now what is caleb doing he's littering the pack with the leftover sandwich which is not good okay because if the pack is dirty then you have all those flies pushing on it and then you have the the, the, the sandwich get decayed and it smells and then it has it causes bad odor in the pack and then when you breathe in bad air you fall sick so what Caleb is doing is not the right thing to do in a community. Now, we've seen that Caleb is not doing the right thing. Let's see the effect of not using garbage cans, okay? Because there's a garbage can in the trash, in the, in the park, but Caleb doesn't want to use it. I don't know, maybe because he's a stubborn boy or he's a naughty boy. I don't know why. But let's find out the effect of Caleb's action um in the book so that you can also find know that yourself one day when you're doing what caleb is doing in the book you are also affecting the community and you also can know the effects of your behavior in your community okay now let's look at the first dot we have to read and then um uh, choose the what you think are the effects of caleb's action in the in the park of not using a garbage can sorry so i'm going to do the first one and then you're going to read the other ones and circle the correct one yourself so the, the first one says the pack becomes so you have two options what caleb did will it make the pack become pretty or dirty what do you think he's littering the pack so his actions already is going to make the pack look dirty so i'm going to circle dirty now the same way you have to read the other informations here and circle the correct word that best describes what Caleb's action, what effect Caleb's action has on the community. Is that understood? Okay. Um, so that's it for today in social studies. Have a wonderful day and see you tomorrow. Ciao.